Hey guys, this is Andrew. How how it works? I'm going I'm going to be going over uh, direction the PE environment, and basically this is just going to go ahead and help you with uh, setting up uh, P start using the internal tools that's built into the USB drive and allowing you to get through and be able to tackle a lot of Windows issues that you might run into uh, with the master toolkit that I was able to put together. Um, this master toolkit has pretty much almost anything that you can think of. I mean, almost any scenario. Um, from antivirus to Windows setup to uh, defrag to hard drive uh, diagnostics. I mean, you you think of it, it's there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the program that you're going to need. Um, I'm going to first get to the home directory. So you're, what you're going to do is find direction. And then this is the main directory. So the main directory here is going to show you um, all the files that's inside of it. And so I put together a, a Android directory. So sometimes where Android won't connect to the Play Store or won't allow you to connect to the internet, you can go through and install applications that's already on the flash drive. As long as you have one of those flash drives that you can flash to, uh, flash the bin file to, that will allow you to connect it into an Android or either have the adapter to plug it in. So this is primarily the tools here that I have from, an, from antivirus to um, data transfers to, um, you know, like CCleaner or anything along those lines. So uh, moving on, uh, here are some extra things I'm not gonna really go into like backgrounds and uh, developer kit. If you wanna support me, by you know advertising with the background that's awesome um, developer kit it basically just provides the tools um, script for Tron so if you want to update Tron that's the script that you need um, there's there's a lot of useful stuff in here and I'm gonna go into depth I'm not gonna tell you what all the tools do but I am gonna show you around so I'm gonna tell you about the the home directory. So this is the home directory. This is the program that starts it up. Obviously the icon that shows up right here. But the main main directory of where everything is located, it's all going to be in here. And everything is attached to an EXE and an alias. So that will allow you to be able to go back and forth between the uh, the between the main menu program, which I'm going to show you, and also um, all the other things. Um, not to mention the V script, or VB script. Uh, that is what pretty much um, launches everything um, because some antiviruses would flag uh, the EXEs that would point you to the folder. So instead, I use VB scripts. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it on, on there. I mean, this, this just shows, shows you how to get to the folder um, and bypass the, the PSTAR program. Now, what you do is launch up pstart. <clears throat> and so obviously, again, this takes you to the home folder or where, all, where everything is. Um, I went through a lot of extensive um, uh, beta testing with other IT people uh, who was working on residential computers. Um, and they basically um, said that sometimes they prefer to have, be able to just go to, straight to the folder and collect what they need. Um, I also... Um, include um, all the Zune um, firmware files, the software, the reg edit, the themes, as well as the instructions on how to fix your Zune. So um, follow that. Use an older version of Windows if you're going to try to fix your Zune so that you avoid a lot of issues and you can go from there. This also includes a video as well, how to fix it. Um, Another cool thing about this is that um, I have created a bunch of VB scripts that will t take you to where you want to go. So memory diagnostics, it will launch Windows, uh, memory diagnostics, and it will reboot the computer. Um, takes you to the home control panel um, instead of the metro control panel. Um, this will take you to the metro control panel. Uh, this will launch you into recovery mode for Windows without having to hold the shift button and then click restart. You got shutdown. Um, so if you're wanting to just click on, on shutdown and shut down the computer, you can do it that way. 
or some people just prefer to click on the shutdown and then s use their finger to slide down depends on what you want to do and then obviously um, restart so I put I have put some Windows functionality into this um, backup forward slash restore so like I previously mentioned autofab um, you select the source disk that you're backing up from you target it to the to the actual um, you know drive that you're wanting to back up to and it individually copies the user directory um, including bookmarks and everything um, recover keys unstoppable copy which is great for uh, failing hard drives that you mount um, so it collects as much as it can from there and then just scraps the rest recover keys um, is really good for retrieving Windows keys that are lost same thing with key finder um, again the more the more we get into actual um, larger directories with tools the least I'm going to talk about it um, like I previously mentioned um, Ostisk defrag is great for optimizing SSDs making them faster defragging windows in a quick timely manner battery info another great tool to tell you about your battery crystal disk is great for um, you know again checking hard drives uh, very very great it will tell you if it's in caution meaning it's about to fail if it's bad if it's gonna let you know it's bad um, and then there's obviously a lot more tools to to play with there's even some tools in here that I don't even know um, even yet how to use this tests the processor and the video graphics card so we're gonna go ahead and click out of this close the window and as you can see how I navigate so I close the window and I move on so repair there are two different types of ways that you can go about it obviously we're gonna start with the with the directory um, everything that you could think of from Chrome cleanup tools to glare to glare utilities to IO bit I mean you name it you get everything there then you get this special directory which is launched from this from this VBS script um, I'm sorry from this VB script um, and basically I'm probably saying that wrong I'm sorry it's late um, either way the Tron auto script basically um, does all the IT work for you it uses antivirus to check your computer think about somebody creating a, a large script that will do your job for you to debloating windows to checking for antivirus to uh, patching policies to um, I mean anything you think of IT this script will do for you automatically so um, that is normally a big winner right there because if you're working on multiple computers and you know what you're you know what you're doing with with Tron <clears throat> it, you just load it up let the flash drive stay in the computer launch Tron up and just let Tron work on it um, extras um, obviously all my um, extras here that um, you know that might be beneficial beneficial to you guys also having a second file system so if you're working on the shell of Windows and you need to go back and forth between the Windows shell and the third-party shell to fix Windows uh, you have that flexibility there too um, and then obviously the Android you can add APKs to the actual uh, folder so APKs is basically like EXE for Android so you add what you want to it um, update what you want again this stuff is all end-user um, you know you, this is the liability of the end user to use as well as to update and keep up with so what you want you make it the way you want it to if there's stuff you don't want on there you can delete it out make a new bin file um, and then just go forth from there um, and then obviously you got Hiren's boot and then uh, F F 4U um, basically the Falcon boot CD um, and all the stuff that came with the contents of those CDs I made a directory for as well um, allowing you to be able to use some of the legacy IT tools that may not be here and then as you can see 
it launches all this extra bat stuff, batch files, to where it will allow you to be able to fix your computer. So I mean, there's a lot of useful tools in here. Um, definitely check it out. Um, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, I know that it sounds like it's not impressive, but when you start diving in and say, hey, I need a tool and I don't have the means of being able to download it, or I don't have a PC, and you whip out the flash drive, you're most likely gonna find what you're looking for to fix your computer. So definitely use this. Um, this is the primary focus of the original project. And then the rest of it was just like, okay, well, let me see what more I can do to make it a master toolkit for IT users. Um, and I mean residential. I don't expect businesses at enterprise level to use these, but if you find it useful for you, I'm, I'm glad. Um, again, I apologize if I have also said some things that may be wrong. I am tired and it's late. So I hope you guys have a good one and thank you again and um, hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.